All right, so we're in. Yeah, I reckon it'll be about five minutes. Five, six. It's fine. It's a radical. Hello. How are you? I'm all right, you know. I don't know. I still don't know how to intro this because it's episode two. What, of episode two of what? Relic and his brethren. That's normally where you start with an introduction. No, but like Records, that's bare episodes, corny. You know, I guess. That's corny. You know. That's very formulaic. Red carpet. Confetti, red carpet. Bro. Explosion. I keep telling down. you. I'm broke. I cannot afford a red carpet. All right, guys. I'd have to buy a white carpet and pour cranberry juice on it. 500 likes so we can get <laughs> a budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? You look very well. I'm, I'm a rap man. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm I do. as well as you. Why? What? Why? You just look very well. Thank you. It's a new yeah. skincare routine. What do you do? Uh, wash my face. <laughs> You've been doing that before? Nah. What? Is there? What's wrong with you? A shower. No, that's a that's a whole thing. No, like, you didn't no, wash don't, your don't no, do you didn't don't wash your do face. That. Don't do that. No, you <laughs> said it. It's recorded. It's done. You yeah, said no, that's it. Fine. That's you didn't. Fine. <laughs> but we're not gonna act like it's a typical male thing to like go through a whole skincare grooming. Bro, routine. I what? Listen, see me. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, you know. you're clearly a Bedinas. <laughs> You've been that from early. I get called a bad beast. I mean, I do, <laughs> yeah. man. I'm sorry. I pushed his chest out. You thought. We're gonna start. We started. We started like that. We started. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill Listen, out. we'll get to that in it of oh, my no. um unproven. Whatever. Cut the cameras. No, keep that on. <laughs> so you don't wash your face. I do wash my face. How do you wash your face? Um, the face wash, toner, moisturizer. I don't even have toner. So you're better than me. What's to- what's toner? And he was giving it all of this. A couple no, because I ago. use I. Wash my face with water. Yeah. And I use soap. Right. Then I use a scrub. I bet you're like one of them imperial leather dons. You've no, got no, no. Imperial I have, leather I, no, on I have, um, I have dial. I don't know what that is. It's a, it's an old school. It's the first antibacterial soap. Really, we should be supporting black owned businesses and buy for real. Yeah, large up glow pot as well. Did okay, yeah, them yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's from South as well. So large up glow pot. But, um, Her first. And then because she's a black woman, and I was course. talking about Pharrell. You see, he's made for hierarchy. Black. We put them on top. <laughs> glow pot. Yeah, glass of glow pot. Get your glow and pot then, now. Um, yeah, so I wash my face, and I have a face scrub, and then I have like, like some soap, like some. Are you sponsored scrub. by glow pot? I'm not. I haven't bought glow pot yet. Six hundred likes, we can get relic. Please get me some glow pot, man. Glow sponsored pot. If you're watching, <laughs> yeah, get at me, man. My friend used it, and his skin is amazing. Okay. I feel like men should have skincare routines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's your face, bud? Get me. You can't come here dripped in Gucci. He has I a was... lovely Gucci jacket he came in with. It's I behind the camera. A, a it's few. wonderful. And uh, you can't wear your own Gucci and watch your face. What's your priorities at, bro? You can. It's No, that's not good, though. That's, that's like man the on the roads. <laughs> that's like man on the roads when they're all dripped out in Mon- Montclair. And yeah, and they ain't bathed. And they that's, exactly. That's it, bro. Nah. That's it. That's the no, mood. No. Ew. Don't wash your body and put on the fresh monks. Don't Ugh, make me get a monk lizzy. <laughs> Don't make me get a monk lizzy. <laughs> no, I'm joking, guys. I, I do wash my skin. I would hope so. I would hope so. Because I feel like a lot of women would be disappointed if you didn't. No, I, I, I wash my skin too much. Okay. I take, I take lengthy, long-winded baths. You do, and then you snap yourself to I don't be a whore. S- <laughs> I don't snap the chest out. It's just what there. I do is I use that. First of all, okay. So if I'm a whore, is Rev Run a whore? Yes. No, he was married though. So how you know? What do you mean? How do I know he was married? And he was. He was talking about God. How you know? You're there. You're there. Know? Smizing. How you know I ain't talking about God. It's smizing. Yeah. Obviously, face zoom on. Zooms out. Nipples there. Yeah. You know. I just yeah. talk to him. Let him know what I do. Yes. Well, no. no well, you don't Sell know it what, for me. A lot of people I don't know, know what you, you do because it's on your other Instagram. Oh, <laughs> bad. Bad, bad. see, we'll, this is what I'm talking we'll about. He's not that. the nigga to do we'll, a crime we'll with. We'll cut that. We'll cut nah, that. Nah, keep it in. I'm not afraid of them. I was wondering, though, because I went to ask, why, because you're a very funny person, mm-hmm. why do you not show that on your mains? Right. Do you know what it is? I was having this conversation yesterday. Mm-hmm. I have a private Instagram in which I... I didn't say what it was. So it's fine. Say. I'm saying. I have a private Instagram mm-hmm. in which... I keep my peoples on there. Mm-hmm. Everyone does. It's not, it's not I'm saying it's yeah, like I'm keeping I just don't use Yeah, it. like I'm keeping like drugs in a stash or something. Hopefully. But um essentially with Koji Radical, mm. I care about my music and my message yes. a lot. Mm-hmm. And I want people to understand the importance of what I'm trying to say with my music. Uh-huh. So I give personality, I you give do. you do, but at the same time 
I don't want to be, oh, he's, he's the funny man. Right. Because I'm funny. You are fucking hilarious. I'm, he- I know. No, like, you are. You really, you're genuinely, you really are. Thank like, you. It's not, I take like, pride. No, you, you are. You thank are very, very funny. You make thank me laugh. You, thank you, sir. A lot of these so, men are funny. So I just try and keep, I keep it separate. Plus it's mm. nice, you know, I think for a lot of, the, for a lot of people that are my friends. Yeah. They kind of have to get used to the idea that their friend is Koji and people know him and care and want to run it. And do you know what I'm saying? So there's an element of my personality that I keep from my peoples, you know? I hear that. Yeah. I respect that. I'm, I have a few artist friends who feel the same, who feel like they don't really want to put them out there mm. in on that on that profile, which is fair enough. You only put yeah. girls on yours. On my what? Hmm? On my what? My story. Welcome back to Relic and Friends. This is episode two. I'm Relic Koji Radical. Friends. Jesus. We if they're going to do it, do it properly. We've got to work on that title. What, what's wrong with Relic and his brethren? I'm on donuts here. You don't even have a rider. So how am I your brethren? <laughs> Listen, bro. <laughs> I keep saying, I'm broke. Like, what's, what's how much time do you want to say it? I, c- I don't have Gucci like you, sir. I don't have Gucci either. You don't leave your house without wearing designer. That's not true. When you Don't cap. You was on Who We Be, yeah? I listen to the, I listen. I listened to Who We Be. Right. Yeah, that was a, it, was a, it was a good interview. The professional for my taste. You know, he was a very, right. okay. he was very much on, yes, and um, I believe that uh, right. the reason why this album is like this is because, uh, yeah, my mom, me, my mom are really close. And, uh, right. What is this? You mean, you mean the truth? <sighs> okay, no, carry on. No, nah, no, you no were, that's fine. Nah, no, but it's okay. Oh, no, but it's okay. <laughs> no, but it's that, okay. Love Harry Panero, love Henry. You were on your, you were on like some politician run. Like oh. it felt so, yes, and yeah, my reasons to smile and, and like, you felt very. I am on, a, I'm on a presidential run to sell my album. Yeah, it felt like that. Have you pre-ordered my album? I haven't. This this interview is gonna be really <laughs> short. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't it's buy be, albums though. As soon as I finish these donuts, I'm out of here. I'm gonna buy your <laughs> album. I, I'll do it right now, actually. You should. I, I'm going to. I don't buy albums. You should. I the reason why it. is because. Go on. Again, th- we're, we're always we're going to be in the same loop of wanting more for the scene, the culture, alternative hip hop, et cetera, et cetera, whatever category I fall. We're going to be in the same loop of talking about how that music is under supported right. when the people that verbally support it or do you know what I'm saying? You're part of the culture. You do your you right. do your part. You've got your radio show yeah. on your where, wherever you are. You try and promote new up and coming alternative sounds to of for for the UK. Right. Pay for it. I hear it. And then we're all winning. Then I'll have my nice shiny top ten and I I've read really, I've really and wish I can get more you. jackets. I really wish that for you. I really want you to get a top ten. I'm going I to. feel like you deserve it. I, I'm I, I'm me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh I don't really want, I don't want to really get into the, the professional part of the interview. I still wanna talk some fuckery. Right, go on. You did one of the most fucked up would you rather's yeah. I've ever, ever heard Shout out. in my entire life on your Instagram. Shout out shits and gigs. Do you want to tell the people what it was? Okay, cool. So I'm, I was watching one of my, my favorite podcasts ever mm-hmm. in life. It's a podcast called Shits and Gigs. Shout out Fwags. Shout out James Duncan. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to get this coffee open. No, that's fine. Um, the brothers, them. Love them. Gonna, gonna go chat to them real soon. They had this one would you rather that I saw too early in the morning and it ruined my day. So you wouldn't ruin anyone else's? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I told them what it was because I it actually, f- it's it spun my head. Um, oh, one second. Let me, not here, not there. Where's the boss? Oh, that's calm. Yeah. Cool rider. Cool them. There you go. Cool. Um, so the would you rather was um, your girl and your mum have swapped brains. The only way to get them back is to sleep with one of them. Do you sleep with your girl's body but mum's brain or mum's body and your girl's brain? Go. Do you know how fucked that is? I want to know the answer. Because here's the thing, right? Mm. If you fuck your girl, mm. body, girl's body, mm. it's your mum technically getting the feeling mm-hmm. and that's disgusting. Mm. But if you fuck your 
girl on your mum's body, mm-hmm. you're physically having sex with your mother, mm-hmm. which is also repulsive. Yes, it's a, it's a lose-lose. So I feel like... That's such a great question. It's fucked. I, I, would, I feel like I would fuck my girl's body and then just okay. never speak to my mum again. Okay. What about you? You'll never speak to your mother again. Never. I've had sex with you, basically. This is disgusting. Is that what you do to women you have sex with? <laughs> Welcome back to Relic and his Brethren. This is episode two with a special guest called you Radical. <laughs> We're having a great time today. We're having a way I of a time. I don't partake in <laughs> such activities, sir. We're having a way of a time. I do. What would you pick? Which one did you pick? Mm. Ah, got something on my lip. So my boy said something to me that, that ruined it for me. Mm. And he said... Um, God. <laughs> he said that it's got to be your girl's body, mum's brain, uh-huh. because your mum would still sound like your mum. <laughs> ruined, uh, ruined everything. Ruined yeah. a large portion of my life. Yeah. We're going to do some Would You Rathers. Okay. Because, yeah, Thank you, I don't know if we'll ever top that. See, just okay. original glazed. Amazing. Uh, cool. So, first one. This would is how I treat my guests. <laughs> He's taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Koji, you see when I blow? Don't worry, I got you, bro. Say I got you, I got you. Uh, would you rather receive an alert every time your parents have sex? <laughs> <laughs> or have your parents receive an alert every time you hook up with someone? Oh, your mom's going to be blinging off. <laughs> <laughs> your mom's phone going to be beep, 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 beep. That's in the group chat. Um, um, I feel like mm-hmm. the likelihood of my mom and dad having sex ever again mm-hmm. is so low. I'm gonna take that option. I hear that. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'll take that. That's one. easy. Yeah, because you don't want your mom's phone to be just what you know, flinging off. You'd be so worried about me. She'd be like, "Cause my phone hasn't rang." No, it'll just be like, "Cozy's having sex." I would say the my notification. Phone my phone hasn't gone off in so long. Oh, please. Are you okay? Please. Okay. <laughs> uh, would you rather? Pry your thumbnail off with a fork. Okay. Or stick a toothpick under your big toe and kick a wall. (laughs) 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 Why did that make you laugh so much? (laughs) 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 What have you done to somebody while you're laughing at? This is a proper villain's laugh, you know? So I got to get a fork. Yeah. Jam it under my... And peel your nail off. Peel it off mm. with a fork. Okay. And the nail has to come off. Yep. Completely. Or put a toothpick under my toenail mm-hmm. and kick a wall. Yeah. I kick the wall. Yeah. yeah. You pick that one? Yeah, I'm kicking You're insane. Nah. That thing, just thinking of that makes me physically sick. Do you know, do you know the, the physical effort it would take to get your thumbnail off with a fork mm. would take too long? And you'd either pass out from from blood loss, pain, or just just general disgust. Yeah, but the and you wouldn't get the job done. And then the put the sick individual making you do that would jigsaw. still be stood over your body, jigsaw. throwing <laughs> smelling salts at you, saying, "Wake up and finish the job, you little bitch." That'll be fucked. And we've not got all day. So I hear that. I just take the one toe punt <laughs> and limp my way to the hospital. Fair enough, bro. Yeah. I'd I think I'd vomit. Uh, would you rather pee your pants in public once a week? Or poop your pants in private every other day. <laughs> so, um, wait. So repeat it one more time. Would you rather pee your pants in public once a week, mm-hmm. or poop your pants in private every other day? Do you know what? Let's just let's just go full rager. I'm gonna piss my pants. Yeah, me too. I think I would just because I know I'll do it in public. I'd wear nappies. Nah, no, nah. nephews. You wet yourself. Silk trousers. You would ruin your chrome hearts. Yeah, man. You have chrome hearts. Chrome What's chrome hearts? Oh, you don't. You don't know what chrome hearts is. Mister Fashion know. Week. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Would you rather have hair for teeth or have teeth for hair? Hair for teeth or teeth for hair? You sound like George. I can't lie. Teeth, hair on my mouth, teeth on my head. Um. Oh, teeth on my head. And just wear hats. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that. Let's do one more. Well, you gotta make these hard, man. I mean, I'm on, I'm on, I can't lie, I'm on Buzzfeed. You want to make up some? Yeah. All right, cool. Dig deep. <clears throat> Would you rather have sex with your celebrity crush mm-hmm. and then lose your penis forever? Okay. 
or lose four inches of your penis? I've got four inches to give. <laughs> Do you know why you're a slag? Hmm? Do you know why you're a slag? <laughs> yeah. Just, do you want to advertise? Just, yeah. You ask me. <laughs> I, hate you. I hate you. I'll lose four inches as well. I can't lie. Mm, of course. Because I feel... <laughs> what does that mean? Because I'm... <laughs> and I feel like if you fuck your celebrity crush and never have sex, that's dead. Nah, that depends on the it. session. Nah. Who's your celebrity crush, by the way? Oh, I've got loads. Name one. Don't say her. If you say her, I'll fight you. I'll, 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 I'll act. You, like? you know exactly who I'm talking about. And if you yeah. say her, I'll fight you. Who'd you like? Because if I know, I can't say her. Bella. Oh, Bella. Bella's lame. Bella is gorgeous. Bella is lame. I hope Bella sees this and understands. She will see I this. Am, I am, I am in the Bella is lame fan club. Um, Bella. Anyway, she, mm. Shoot your sh- be a man. <laughs> listen, be a man. Listen, bro. If say it with your chest. Let's oh, go, bro. Go, go, let's, bro. Let's, go, let's bro. Be, <laughs> no, bro. Let's do it. <laughs> Bella, I love you. You know that already. That's my G. My brethren. It's my guy. Get me. My dog. Bro, my you're one of them be. long game dons, bro. No, I'm really. I'm sick, genuinely bro. not, blood. But anyway, we just never you cross. Don't even do that. Waiting in the freaking lurch. Listen, relax. Relax. Christ. Who's a Mate, we're talking. I'm a, I'm a man of variety. Okay. We're talking anything from Taraji P. Henson to Oprah. Gorgeous. Oprah? Nah. Oprah? That's someone's grandmother. Yeah. Nah, it's not like, but it's not like an Angela Bassett thing. Angela Bassett is astounding. Do you know who's Leng as well? Gail King. All right. You, yeah, enough. 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 Gail King. So you just like women with power. Hmm? Would you fuck Hillary Clinton? It's a peak thing, innit? It's little skeeters. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> skeet! You like women with, like women with power? Nah. Okay. Yeah, actually, no, I do. Okay. But like, you ask like, you gotta think of it this way, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, let's stop thinking shallow. Okay. Know? Let's stop thinking about like who's the lengest, who's got mm-hmm. body, who's gonna have the wet, That's wet, etc., so- etc. Et okay. You got you in your instance. Yes. I got one beat left. Uh huh. Realistically, if I was to be like, oh, I'd beat Megan Good, that's not going to change my life. I don't know, you know. It's not going to change my life. I really Financially, don't know. I'd be in the exact same tax bracket. I don't care about finances. I, I do. I care <laughs> about... If I can't fuck again, <laughs> best believe I need some money. I care about the cheeks. I'm going to lie to Listen, you. Listen, all right, Simon. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so sick of you. Listen. Go on. Oprah would change your, your tax bracket. Well, you don't even know if you're going to beat Good. What's the, bro, you're she worried about be, the wrong she, things. No, because what do you mean? If you she's just fuck Oprah, if the beat is dead, you think she's going to give you, oh, yeah, have a hundred foul? No. Hmm? Right. You think, I'm not going to do a good job. I'm I'm saying you don't know. You might get in there and be so intimidated by her power. You might just, uh, in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a word with Roger here. Sorry, but yeah. So, so those would be Gail King. Oprah Gail King, Oprah, Oprah, and Taraji P. Henson. All right, for me, Celebrity Crush. I used to have a really, really big thing for Rio Aura, but not anymore. I know. Don't say anything. She'll live me. Don't get in trouble. Um, don't, 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 don't. It was, it was a long time. A lot of friends have got onto me about that. I used to love Rio Aura so much, but I've gotten over that. If you think about my Celebrity <laughs> Crushes, yeah? All my Celebrity Crushes are in reach, so I can't even say them. They're in, they're in reach? Yeah. They're not, because I just saw your, your attempt at Bella. I never tried to shoot my shot at Bella. Stop it! I just see that with my own I didn't try to shoot my shot at Bella. Large up her, though. I'll say one of my celebrity crushes. You know Bia? Bia. Rapper. Uh, yes. Yeah, America. She, I love her. She, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Bia. I don't remember. Off the top of my head, I don't remember what she looks like, though. She's, yeah, she's pretty Spanish, too. Um, cool. Is that, your, is that your vibe? No. You said Albanians and Spanish girl. No, don't. Don't. Even try. Can we just talk about Bella? So let's move on. Uh, <laughs> I was having a conversation. You, you you friends on Bella. I, I watched you do it. You said, "Oh, that's my friend. Oh, it's my dog. That's my dog. Oh, that's my friend." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you I started curling your hair when you said beer. You make me sick. Listen, check the VAR. Run the tapes back. Run the VAR. <laughs> Listen. Um, I was talking to my friend the other day. Mm. 
about um, eating vagina. Okay. Do you eat vagina? Yes. Uh huh. So we were talking about uh, disco funny. Mm-hmm. Would you eat disco funny? Have I been at the same disco? No, she's at a rave. She's drunk. She's like, so I'm at home. Yeah. And disco, what's it called? Disco funny. Disco funny. Yeah. Who? What? Is that like a? Is we're, yeah, we're settled on that name. Yeah, it's a t- disco funny. Disco funny. I call it disco pumps. Cause I use the word pumps anyway. But yeah. So I'm at home. Yeah. <laughs> You're at home in your bed watching um, Scandal. Right. And, and she texts you, Coach. Uh, I'm listen. I'm roasting. I want to come see. I'm drunk. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Talking that nasty shit. Don't know. You know. And she's very lame. Very, very lame. And I was having a conversation with my friend, right? And I was telling her how Disco Fanny is better than Out the Shower Pumps. Yeah, Because it has more character. It has more character. It does! <laughs> it saw, does! Because Out the Shower Pumps, she might as well lick her elbow. It's just skin. <laughs> <laughs> like, but what are you licking? No, I'm just You're missing it. the target. No, I'm really not. Don't you? You're missing the target. <laughs> if you're call, talking about call, licking skin. I'll call Bring her. Ring her. Hey Siri, ring her. Stop, bring it. Her, Stop it. Stop it. No, not listen. me. Not me. I'm no, not, I'm listen, bro. Well, I know you are. You really would. That's the thing. I forget how that like, you're on anything. It's actually fun. On anything, bro. But um, I was saying Disco Funny has more character. Like you know what I'm saying? It's it's got Maggie Cube. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, I'm at home. Yeah. She's like, boom, babes. Yeah. I need to see you now. Yeah, yeah. She goes, why? Where you at? She goes, ah, uh, I'm at um. I'm at what's what's a rave? Re- recess. I'm at recess. Yeah, it's packed in there. Mm-hmm. How long you been there? Oh, like we got there at like nine. Oh, nice. Nah, one a.m. Who's going to a rave at nine? Damn. Don't know. That's dead. brunch. <laughs> so I uh, all day to cool late brunch. day party. Day, day, day party, party into the yeah into the day night. party. She been drinking right. Moscatos, eating oh man. Uh, waffles and that. Prosecco's eight p.m. Yeah, eight p.m. She's drunk. Yo, coach, come around. I'm, I, I'm like, and I'm seeing her. Like, what's the yeah. vibe? Like, you lot have been just cheating every now and then. Cheating every now and again. You have good sex. Sex is good. Yeah, she's going through. Going through. Yeah. So you're on the disco, on the disco funny thing. It's not, I wouldn't. That, you're structuring that sentence. No, very you're on the disco funny thing. No, you're structuring that. sentence You're on very, disco funny. It's fine. Very specifically, you're on disco funny. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're on disco funny. It's fine, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, also. Yeah, friends. See mm. that? It's not only me. What? No, I'm just listen. We're adults now. Exactly. That's my thing. Um. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't even name it. I no, wouldn't specifically just, be like she's yeah, bringing so me. She come from fans. the disco and she's like whatever. And I, I'm eating because like because of it. Because so, realistically, yeah. Like we'd like you'd hope everybody's just starts at home, mm-hmm. gets themselves nice and ready, yeah, and da, 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 yeah. da, But people could be anywhere when when the feeling strikes. Um, For anybody watching, thinking this is not normally how Cody acts in interviews. Relic is a good friend of mine. Yeah, it's my guy, man. This is hence, why we had to do this. It's Relic is Regis. Hence the name of the show. Yeah, like, cause do you see Cody, you don't see the professional. Oh yeah, yeah, that's him. It's all one side of him, bro. <laughs> like the way oh I wear suits with knocks in, in Shoreditch. That was a great day. That was. I should have. You know what? I was in two minds about coming. But, but, but because you lot are both my friends and you lot are basically working, I don't want to be around you lot while you're working. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Because are you not working right now? I am working right now. Okay. But it's different though. You know it's different. You're around like fans, people that have never seen you, never speak to you. It's like, you know. Right. I can call you a nuts whenever I want to. <sighs> flex you know it. what I'm saying? No, it's not flex. It's, it's reality. Jesus. Oh my God. That's why you started this podcast? Slightly. Okay. Because you lot are my brethren. Okay. And I, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a fortunate person to have I uh, sorry to keep cutting you off. No, that's fine. I feel like there's been a lot of um tobacco. Okay. About men starting podcasts. Oh, I don't care about that. You know, apparently uh, they don't want to rap in you. Yeah, I don't care about that. Honestly, I don't care about that because I don't I don't do a lifestyle pod. Kay. I don't do a oh, this is how you get girls pod. I'm not one of those guys. Hmm. This is about music and life. Like okay. your life. Oh. It's not about or well, in my life as well. I talk about eating disco funny. But um <laughs> it's not like that's that's now your thing. What, disco funny? Yeah. I don't think it should be. Because my thing's already... Do you like feet? I don't... I'm not a feet guy. Mm. I'm not impartial to them, though. Like, if... You suck toes? Yeah, 100. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a grown man. That's... Okay. Do you ask? I don't... No. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think I do. Have you not done it yet? I haven't consciously eaten ass, no. What does that mean? 
you set out to eat some ass that day. Okay, yeah. No, okay, cool. You look at a menu. Yeah, yeah. And said, oh, see ask. starter. Yeah, yeah. You see main course. Yeah. You see dessert. Yeah, yeah. You're scanning through the options. And, and you, you saw pick bum. us. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I hear that. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but what was I saying? Yeah, so I am privileged enough to have friends who make amazing music and, you know what I'm saying? So if people want to see a side of them that they don't usually see, I feel like... You know, what mm. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about um, the Brits. Okay. Did you watch the Brits? No. Was you there? No. Why not? I didn't get an invite. You don't do that. I you didn't get invited. You could have made one phone call and you would have been there. <sighs> they could have made one phone call to me. Your label mate was on stage streaming. You could have been there. Which one? Ed Sheeran. <laughs> he was. Peru! Peru! <laughs> he was. <laughs> He did a rock version of Peru. He did. <laughs> if you wanted to go, I know that nigga had a table. As well. <laughs> I don't know, Ed. I, I don't know, Ed. All right, I know. <laughs> Warner had a table. Stop it. Stop acting like I Cody. Invited, don't bro. piss me off today. <laughs> bro, Stop. Don't act like you're not nobody because you're know, somebody. I'm not. Nobody. You fuck off. Yes, you are. Me, they did not want me there. Bro. Oh, fuck off. Bro. I don't know. Are I you and Little Sims friends? Yeah. You could have gone. I pass out of time, man. No, but still, you could have gone. You're friends with her. You could have been on the table. Oh, do you know what? I, yeah, maybe. You had enough friends there. My friends were there. Okay. Yeah. I went there. Why wasn't you there? I didn't get invited. Oh, whatever. So you didn't want to be there. It's not true. <laughs> My suit was pressed. Was <laughs> <it>? <laughs> okay, so if you got invited, you would have gone and done red carpet. Yeah. Because you're a fashion don. I like fashion, yes. You are actually like, turning into like a fashion don. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Have you done fashion week yet? Many times. Exactly. Yeah, your fashion done. You you drip in Bottega, the Veneta. I didn't even know Veneta was part of it. Yeah. Um, you know, you're in Gucci today, you're wearing bait What's on your jacket? feet. Oh are these things. Yeah, oh yeah, those <laughs> <laughs> fucking hit me sick. Yeah, you're wearing bait today, you know. Trousers are Rick Owens as well. Oh, I didn't know I don't even know who Rick Owens is. Um I just thought they were normal chinos. Who's Rick Owens? Um Here we go, here we go, go on. I'm just we're just not even gonna get into it. Fair enough. At, the, at this point, you don't care enough. I don't, because they don't care for fat people. So why why would I care? They do. No, they don't. They do. What designer makes fat drip? Um, Savage Fenty. <laughs> <laughs> they actually do that. That's the thing. It's only Savage Fenty that way. <laughs> so you want to just walk on the road in boxes. I'm like, oh yeah, that that, that nigga's drippy. Yo, no. <laughs> It's like some design, like it's Voya designer. We say Voya's designer. Um, basically. Vo- All right, so Voya, they do it. Anyone else? They don't do like I can't go and shop and get an essentials hoodie. You can. I can't. You it would be very tight on me. Look, I'm wearing a, a swimsuit. Nah, man. They don't wear fat drip. That's why I don't care about fashion. Kid Cudi did a tank top. You want to little crop top thing? I, no. Mm-mm. No. Nah. Be braver. <laughs> so you want to go out in, in tight clothes just for drip? That's ridiculous. I Summer's coming. Yeah, I'm buff already. I don't need to worry about drip, man. That's all right, man. I got, I'm a style you want, bro. You know, style me. Mm. You won't be able to. I will. I mean, you can, but it won't be drip, drip. Like, it won't be, like, be, high fashion. No, nah, super. It's the property. It, it will. It will. I promise. <sighs> all right, we'll see. Anyway, we move. Uh, you, <laughs> when did you get into fashion? Um, it's, like, one of, it's one of my earlier memories. I was mm-hmm. I was in fashion before I was in music. Right. Um, Went to London College of Fashion, studied illustration. Mm-hmm. And oh, wow. Direction, yeah. Okay. Um, so... I mean, I've always been involved near around fashion. Mm-hmm. Um, I was embraced by fashion to some degree when I got into music. So yeah, it's just always been. A, I don't really think about it. Mm. I hear that. Mm. Do you think you'll ever leave music and just do fashion one day? No. Mm. I keep saying that to Nux. Why? I feel like Nux is gonna be like ASAP. No. He's too beautiful. He is. He's too beautiful. I feel like Nux is a A list rapper. Yes. He's amazing. He is. You said he spun you. Huh? You said he spun you on your When show. did I say that? At my show. I said that? Yeah. Because we were talking about Summer is Blue. And we were like, yeah. who was the best on the song? Yeah. I said A2. Yeah. You said Nux. You said Nux spun everyone. Yeah. And then you said, Nux spun me on my album. I said, what? He said, he spun me on my album. I was feeling complimentary that day. Okay. So you think he spun him now? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. I just, I just... People should listen to that song. Go stream payback. <laughs> Go stream payback. <laughs> stream payback <laughs> right now. Payback. Throw in a comment section. <laughs> I, that's what for this. Shit, who spun who? Yeah, who spun who? But I, I don't know. I don't. 
<laughs> this is hard. Uh, we probably skipped over the Brits, you know. But anyway, yeah, I feel like no. I didn't go. What do you want me to say? I went there. Oh, you didn't watch it either. But I watched. For, I watched. For, I watched what I needed to watch. You happy for Sims? I saw Sims kill it. Mm-hmm. I saw amazing. a speech. I saw a performance. Speech is amazing. I saw Dave kill it. Amazing. Do you know what I'm saying? Dave I saw what I needed to see. I feel you. Okay. And 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 you know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So cool. So you didn't see the Brits. So there's all parts you need to see. You didn't get invited. No, yeah. it's, it's a Eastman one. Uh, yeah, payback. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's going amazingly. It's going great. <laughs> what a great uh, year for Koji. <laughs> oh shit! How could I run over this? Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Yeah. What did you do for it? I made oxtail. You did, you piece of absolute. Why well, you don't like oxtail? I hate oxtail. That's my brand, bro. What hate an oxtail? Hotel. Um, hotel. Oxtail. Wow. So Flashbacks. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> oxtail <and> soaker. <laughs> Oxtail is so good, I hate. You don't like Oxtail? Uh-uh. It's a good thing I wasn't making it for you then. No, you, I don't, listen, I don't want your digger digger food. Man. You do want my digger digger I don't want your digger You see my digger digger food nah, go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think, could you put your, you put your rice in the cup that it slaps? No. Listen, did you not see my ghetto parsley? I did. What Was that actually parsley? No, it was, it was like coriander or something. Oh, uh, you were <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I did it for but, the gram. But I hate Oxtail. I can't stand it. Um, okay, well, that's what I made. I made myself some oxtail. You didn't go out with a young lady? No. Nice young uh, woman? No. Sweep her off her feet? No. Take her to um, Nobu? That's what you rich people do, don't you? No. Do you know, I was on strike. Oh, who hurt you? No one hurt me. Mm. I just, I woke up maybe on, let's say I woke up on the 11th. Mm-hmm. Uh, normal day routine. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, as I walked past the mirror, Mm-hmm. I remembered who I am. Okay. Right. And my mum mm-hmm. says I'm handsome. Yeah. Now, no one can't call my mum a liar. I heard that. Not you to, to fight them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I heard that. Right. So, now, mm-hmm. the day's changed. Okay. Because I'm a baddie. Mm-hmm. And for, for many, they haven't even been with a baddie. Where did you I'm calm. Friends? So, you can add me to the tally. Uh-huh. I like this. Do you see what I, I'm I saying? I really like this. So You're really a rapper. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I find that, like... There's been a lot of dialogue, a lot of conversation these days about mm-hmm. how, you know, the, the importance of routines when it comes to physical activity, maybe the gym per se. I talking about sex. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the gym. Oh. And um I think um I think for a lot of women, the yeah. priority is leg day. A lot of squats, a lot of pushing away. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of chest. I don't know where you're going with this. Not a lot of chest. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hear I hear uh, yeah. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So women I need more chest. You need people to shoot their shots, is what you're saying, don't you? Talk to me nice. I hear that. I'm a baddie. Because I feel like I got called um, an IG baddie two days ago. You are. Hey, man. I don't know what to say. You start lighting. You like anyway. <laughs> I start what? <laughs> what did I do now? Hmm. But yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like women don't shoot their shots at me. And if they do, I don't see it. But you want me to shoot their... I don't feel like... Check your request. Your choice are empty. It's all music based. So listen to my song. It's not, it's, not, it's not women. Listen to the song. Might be about you. Email me. I don't listen to music in request. Want the love of your life to email you? M- maybe. Wow. Yeah, man. Maybe. You don't love love. I'm kind of anti at the moment. I'm gonna be very honest. I can't lie. I'm, I'm very. I'm um, yeah. I'm very anti love at the moment. Why? Who hurt you? It's unpack. Nah, it's, no, it's not. And this is what the show is about. It's it's not about Relic and his brethren. It's your yeah. Exactly. And as your brethren, I'm yeah. concerned. Why are you concerned? I just sent. I just had a shit situation, and I'm out of it now. Right. Yeah. Okay. How yeah, shit was yeah. it? It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. How long ago did it end? <laughs> Let's move on. Hmm? Um, feels like recently. It is recent stuff. Oh, yeah. But if it's calm though. Like it's. It, it doesn't sound calm. It's you sound. Cool. You sound deeply affected and wounded by. No, I'm. Listen. When the cameras are off, we'll talk in it. Huh? When the cameras are off, we'll talk. It's not fun. Um, <laughs> before we get in, your bastards. Because <laughs> I don't want anyone texting my phone. Oh. Okay. I don't want no one texting my phone. Right. I mean, do you check it every now and again to see if they have texted your phone? I don't know. Just check to see the person's texting. Right. No, they haven't texted me. Phone. phone. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Before we get into start professional co- questions and okay. whatever, I'm going to ask one more thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, who have you been listening to? Oh, can I put my letter? Of course you are. Listen, you can do what you want. Am I allowed to? Okay, cool. I love this question because I'm actually intrigued about this. Right. So I I took in the new Young T and Bugsy album. Great, great project. 
I can't wait enjoy the summer it. for that to come out. I did enjoy it. I did that's, enjoy that's it. Su- that's going to be such great drink up music. You reckon? Uh, listen. What song? About all of it. Put put that. When it's about 7 p.m., the sun's just about to set. Blessings Barbecue's is a great still song. going on. You've mm. got gal drinking, man, mm. them drinking. There's, there's jollof rice and macaroni. Mm. Just put that on. Put Oxtail. that blast tune on. It's just. I call it um, the opposite of scared of hose music. I've also been listening to. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been listening to um, Benji Flow. Great, the Great thrill. Mm-hmm. Great it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. Mm-hmm. It's either Lier or Liar. Okay. Uh, a guy called Tim Lier or Tim Liar. Oh. Done a tune with Lexamore recently called Hubris. Uh huh. Banger. I think I got that in my email. Um, you should listen to it. You should play it on Represent. Okay. Um, Joyride by Mizey. Really like that. Okay. Um, Parallel has a dope tune at the moment with Cassian called Get Down. Mm-hmm. Um, Quali Back mm-hmm. has okay. a song that kind of went relatively under the radar. It's called Don't Ring Me. Mm-hmm. Um, Project Good. Listen to Call Me When You're at Quali Quali Mix Over. Yeah. Mads. Been listening to Mads. Mads Half Life. Mm-hmm. Got a tune with Shea Universe at the moment yeah. called Slow Jams on Wine. Mm-hmm. Great record. Uh, Maverick Sabre's album was really good. Walk These Days is probably my favourite song on there. My friend's going on tour with him. Very proud of us. Uh, Oscar Wilde Peace. Tune out at the moment called Never Broke Again. Great mm-hmm. record. Um, MIA, Berwin. Great record. Uh, what else? Uh, Bow Wow. I keep hearing about him, actually. Great guy. My friend's telling me that he's like in like the alt rap scene. He's mm. like the next one to come out. And I think so. Him. I reckon so. I think he's got a very unique style. I like the song you did with um, Bex. Yeah, Bex is cold. I Bex like Bex. Bex is dope. She's I dope. like Bex a lot. Yeah, she's dope. Um, Saints obviously doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Calm. That's the end of my TED Talk. I heard that. Good artist. Good variety. I've been listening to Shasa Man. I think she's uh, yeah, she's cold. Amazing. She's lame. She, she's a very beautiful woman. Um, Go on. In the camera one more time. Shasa Man, you're a very beautiful woman. That's right. That's my dog as well. Everybody's your friend, innit? Everybody just wants to be your friend, innit? I can't. Ah, I can't. So what's it. happening? I can't help it. Oh, like me, okay, bro. okay. That's, I can't help what people like. Me. Ah, I see. I have friends. Mm. I have friends. Okay. There's no real friends. Okay, okay. Like I say, it's my dog. Like, we've met like four times. Like, she's she's mad cool though. It's mad love whenever we see each other. Mm-hmm. Um, but sweet, that song's fucking hard. And she's is that the one with Sus? Sus yep. Mm-hmm. She's rapping on something that Sus mm-hmm. did really well in there as well. Mm-hmm. But listening to I need to I need to check that song out. I think the last time I heard her spitting was Did she do w- no wait did she do the um No she didn't do it. I'm lying. I think I think I heard that on Instagram. Mm-hmm. The the suspect tune. Mm-mm-mm. And I was like, she might be winning this. No, she's dope. I mean I feel like when it comes to And girl, talking when... about the back and forth between her and suspect, I was like, I think she Oh won. no, she won. Yeah, I think No, she won. won. When it comes to girl, she's the best female rapper out other than Sims. Um I mean Chris Star's good. She is. I just feel like she's more development. I like when she freestyles. I really love the songs yet. You didn't like Morgan? Morgan's cool. Morgan's amazing. I like, I, I like the one she has with Alana Maria. I really like Alana Maria. She's, she's cold. She's really, really cold. Very cold. cold. Very yeah, cold. Yeah. I've been listening to uh, Nija, the writer, Stretcher Project. Really dope. No, I'm not sure. Uh, no, she's cold. Mm. I've been listening to Nux, obviously. Mm. Just Banco. Uh... I find a girl called Shireen Olivia. She's cold. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, SB's tape is good. See, I'm, I'm late, man. I feel like... I don't even like when people tell me that they've heard songs that I ain't heard. Why? You can't listen to... It's impossible to listen to every song. <sighs> it's too much music, bro. I know. There's an artist, as JME said, there's a new MC born every weekend. It's it's, it's true. It's impossible, man. It's, it's impossible. True. But let's, let's be professional now, I guess. I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job of professionalism. No, nah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna be really interviewing now. I'm okay, gonna, like cool. I'm like I'm trying to. Apply. Do you edit these? Yes. Okay. Like I'm trying to apply for a job. For <laughs> Thank like, God. <laughs> just, just, I'll send it to you before. Nah, it's you fine. Just... It's more just like, I don't know. It's probably about a two-hour interview. No. If you didn't edit it. No, it's been like forty minutes. Okay. Time's flying, isn't it? How long was the poet one? Forty minutes. But well, I've been told to make it longer. Uh, no, as in when you actually recorded it. Yeah, forty minutes. That's all. That's the whole thing. Okay. I didn't edit anything. Okay. Up. That's the whole thing. Cool. But, um, all right, so you've got an album coming out. Yes. Tell people when it's coming out. March 4th, Reason to Smile. Pre-order that if you're listening after March the 4th. It, it, still buy it. Why um, Why do you call it Reason to Smile? Um, 
So, I think around the time where I was thinking or deciding I was going to make an album, mm -hmm. I think there was a lot happening in my life that people could see the good in mm -hmm. before I could. Okay. And um, and it's that whole kind of like age old, like you see people and they ask you how you are and mm -hmm. you've answered even before you thought about the question or... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or they just know everything is going, oh my God, you got this going on, oh, that's sick. And, yeah. and I'm just like, everything just turns into white noise. And I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm struggling to even really understand what journey I'm on personally. Yeah. And um, I think for me, the album, for, I never like, I never go into making an album with the title in mind. Right. I think a song will appear mm -hmm. that ends up being what the album is about you know, to a certain degree. Mm. Um, it happened with Cashmere Tears. Cashmere Tears was, the project itself was originally called Numbers. Okay. And then maybe on the like second to last day before we left the camp, we changed it to Cashmere Tears. Mm. And I think this album was called, this album was called um, uh, It Cannot Be Regret. That's what this album mm. was originally called. It Cannot Be Regret. Okay. And it was based off a fella cootie quote. Mm. about understanding your life experiences as that, as experiences rather yeah. than right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then maybe second to last day again, change the reason to smile. Actually, no, I'm lying. Maybe maybe the f fourth like album playback. Right. People was like, what's the album called? And I was like, you should call it Reason to Smile. Because, like, oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. You keep calling it your debut album. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> No, for real, why? Because it's not. It's not. It's not, I'm sorry. Because if, it's worse, what's 23 Winters then? Uh, EP. No, fuck off, it's not. It is. It's not. You, I hate artists so much, yeah? Mm. I hate how because of streaming, you lot can just make up rules now. It's so annoying. Because 23 Winters is an album. Okay. Cash Me Tears is an album. Okay. But you're like, mm, it's my day. It's like Shaylin Shay Shay going to do the same thing with um his project, his last project. Hey, that was, that was his debut album. I hear that. It was. I hear that. If if we're talking about intent and quality level. It's, I feel like that's the only thing that differentiates between a mixtape and a project now is just... Intention. Yeah. That's the only thing now. Because the production, it's not like back in the day, the mixtape, drumming everyone's beats, put it out on that piff, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now it's literally just, okay, I'm in album mode. I'm thinking about it as an album. Well, that's the only difference now. Yeah, uh, twenty three winners is a fucking album. If you tell me different, in God's body is an album. In God's album, I mean, in God's body is not even that good. All right, cool. All right. I can, I could objectively you, you, yeah, say it's that. It's your own project. You can say that. I'm not gonna argue with you. Cool. I think personally, I was having this conversation with Quali, mm -hmm. where there was a transitional period where, again, I was trying to make music in this different way. I was traveling a lot more. I was inspired by loads of different things. Mm -hmm. And I went into making In God's Body. Mm -hmm. No, continue. Oh, okay. Kind of, um, kind of sure of myself, but kind of not sure of myself. And I hear certain parts or certain things from the album. Mm -hmm. And I go, you don't talk like that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you don't write like that. You just, you're doing this because you think it's the right thing to do for this project right but it, listening back to it isn't a comfortable experience for me because it doesn't seem like i'm being authentically myself on that project okay so for, for you <laughs> for me it's for you okay cool yeah for me because other people would argue to you about that let them argue <laughs> <laughs> so uh i think i asked you this on my radio interview before i'm gonna ask you again how can you top cash me tears does does reason to smile have an 11 on it Does it have an 11? No, nah, because I don't do that. I don't. <sighs> See, 11 is. But 11 you've got 11. 11 is one of them ones, you know? You've got 11. You've what's got 11 forever. What's the one that forever. came out? That, oh, what's that one that came you out? you got 11 forever. You don't have to, like. I hear that, but has it got one of those? You see how. Does it have one of those? Maybe. Okay. What would the, what would the one. It would be. It would be pressure. If, if we're. If we're, if we're, if we're uh, I'm assuming the type of feels that you're talking about when it comes to reason to smile the closest thing i can like in 11 to is pressure mm. with show universe um out has it got a pure huh has it got a, see a pure is one of those pure was never on a project i, I know it was a single i know i know but pure is one of those pure do you mean a song where i'm rapping top to bottom basically yes and just like yeah, you're got one of them. rapping your whole phlegm out yeah it's got one of them good 
Yeah. I'm very happy about that. Got a couple of so Good. Maybe. Good, good, good. What's your favorite song? Uh, what's your favorite song on the project? Um, my favorite song on the album Reason to Smile out March 4th is at the moment maybe Born. What's that about? Born is a song almost it's a bit it's like it's how do i describe born i think for me i've always enjoyed speaking about culture where i come from yeah being from ghana mm-hmm. um being separated from would you in ghana huh? what you in ghana no nah, i didn't go oh damn but being separated from certain experiences because i can't speak the language mm-hmm. and like things like that it's uh, it's interesting to me because obviously my mum made the decision to come migrate here and yeah. and and start a life for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. the idea of just like it's a how do I describe it? Because really, born is the coming together of of two migrant tales. You know, mm-hmm. whether it's mine or my mum's or Cash, like. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of lot going on. I don't want to ruin it, but it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's a vibe. Because and also I don't want to make the song sound too deep because it's a vibe. Yeah, like you can just slap it on and just like. I think that's the balance rappers need to find. Mm. I think Russ was saying that how I, he finds a balance where I can still bar off, mm. but it's still enjoyable to listen to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. also I've been like very mindful of telling people what a song is about before mm-hmm. they've had a chance to interpret it for themselves. I'm mm-hmm. very, very much curious to see how people interpret this album, what people take away from it in terms of the messages and yeah. and the intent behind certain songs. Mm-hmm. I always go back to um, this one experience I had in Australia mm-hmm. when I was traveling, I was touring or whatever, and every time I finish a show, I, I stick around and I make sure I talk to like nearly every person in the building. It's very good. Remember, thank you. I remember talking to this one guy in Australia mm-hmm. and he was telling me about how he just got out of rehab oh my God. and while he was in rehab he was listening to 23 Winters mm-hmm. and there was records on there that specifically made him rekindle his relationship with his father and stuff wow. like that and I can't dictate that experience I can't be like I wrote this so this and this could happen Yeah, I just write the music put it into the world and let people experience it mm-hmm. and enjoy it and let it become part of whatever it is that it's meant to be you know? that's Kind of beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. I did great for them. You used to be a poet, didn't you? Used to, once yeah. upon a time. Yeah, you used to do poetry. Personally. Other than rapping. Yeah, in my own time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I hear you still. Mm. A question I asked you earlier on before the cameras, I'm going to ask you again. Your album's coming out relatively... March 4th. <laughs> March 4th. The Brits was just the other day. Mm. Are you worried about... Because I feel like I know what type of artist you are. Mm. This is going to be an amazing piece of art mm. are you worried about not getting like brit buzz because it came out so early because by the time the brits come out again there's going to be a lot of rappers who drop projects mm. and stuff like that are you worried that you might be forgotten about when is it, when's the brits coming around again next year around the same time around this time next mm. year it's a long time it's a long time to still care mm. you know so you, you do you want to win a brit do I want to win a Brit? Yes. Eventually. Okay. For this project? No. Really? Mm. Is that because you think you can do better? No. Oh, so this is your best work? No. All right then. But at the same time, I've always believed in the longevity of my career. Yes. And I would hope that this album is the the stepping stones into... I guess that level of recognition, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I want I want to. I want, that's a really boring movie. If I just won the Brit at the end of it, I mean, mm-hmm. I need more pain. I had that. more stakes. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. So like, if it's not this album and it's the next one or it's the one after that, mm-hmm. amazing. But I don't make I don't make it with that in mind. You know. I yeah. Don't think, uh, I but I still think good art should be recognized. Yeah, by, by the people. Mm. And if the people recognize it enough, then they recognize it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, people didn't go, Sims's album is great after she won a Brit. Mm-hmm. It was way before. before. Yeah, as soon as, that, as soon as it came out. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think it's it's in its own time, whenever mm-hmm. it's meant to be, however it's meant to be. Speaking of which, Sims, you, a few other artists, you're part of like the alt rap scene. Would you say that? I guess so. 
No, because you, 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 you breathed. <laughs> what was the <laughs> for? <laughs> he said, no, you, you, so what's the for? Would you not say you're part of the old rap scene? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Or would you say British hip hop? It's just music. I don't know. I, who who invented the alt thing? Listen. What does the alt thing stand for? Who's a part of it? Who's not a part of it? Because we're all alternative anyway, we're all friggin' rebellious, so we all don't yeah. want to be categorized anyway. So it's all mm. like, same with anything. You can tell me I'm I'm uh, Brit pop polka, and I'll be like, you're no, Brit. No. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. because it's it's the idea of being defined by something one one linear box. But mm. um, yes. If there was a Spotify playlist that they had to quickly throw me in, it would probably be... Well, you've been the face of Mandem Kings for like four years. That's like right. You haven't got a high top no more. Exactly. And you're still the face of Mandem right. Kings. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Let, them change it. Let them change it. I don't know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Let them change it. I, no, I feel you still. You're the Mandem King. Yeah. Um, that sounds like an anime. Do you watch anime? Yeah. Which anime did you watch? Um, last thing I watched was My Hero Academia. Okay. Hmm. Did you watch Attack on Titan? No. I should start that. Yeah, so Quali told me to start that yesterday. Because Quali's like the biggest weeb in the world. <laughs> That's not an offensive word, by the way. That's what you call anime fans, weebs. Weebs, okay. Yeah, yeah. And See, uh, look at you. Think, you don't think bad of me. I don't, I don't. This is, this I don't think I don't think bad of you, Relic. No, you, you think don't. bad of you. I d- and you project that on me. Let's unpack. No, that's... that's <laughs> that, that actually was kind of deep. Um, <laughs> I, I forgot what I was going to ask. That I thought the awkward. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, with Little Sims and the Brit and are saying that she's like part of alt rap, do you think that will help um, your scene, your scene become popular or more mainstream? So it would open doors for people like, like you say, Bauer, like Samwise, like Akadiata and, and, and so forth. Ye- do you think that will help them like, like with like, you know, ye- neighborhood don't want to be a skinny thing. Yes. Mm? Mm. Will it help? Like, are we talking specifically? Will it help labels understand the artists that they've already signed a little yeah, bit more? Yeah, so actually, order to fucking develop them and not right. just you know what I'm saying. Like, actually, sign like you were signed right. how many years ago? Yeah, 2018. And exactly, yeah. and it's 2022 now. You first put out your debut album, and do you feel like they developed you? Was, there was also a two year pandemic in the middle of that. Of course, that, of <laughs> course, of course. But it's like, do you do you think they helped develop you? Did they help develop me? They didn't yeah. need to. I was developed. Okay, sorry. That's but that's the f- that's the fact of the matter. I think it's it's um, if there's anything to take away from Little Sims and the success that she's had with the last album and the albums prior mm-hmm. is the the self initiative. You know, mm-hmm. it's the it's the willingness to reinvest in herself, mm-hmm. to develop herself, mm-hmm. to build upon her fan base, mm-hmm. to to open up her own horizons by taking on different challenges, whether that's acting or whatever it is, modeling or she's whatever. She's done very well on top, bro. Um, exactly. I think all of those things mm-hmm. are what is the help for a next generation. Right. Seeing those things, seeing a person do it, seeing a black woman do it mm-hmm. at a high level. It's extremely high level. Um, is the inspiration needed? I mean, business is business. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. labels are gonna do what they're gonna do. Yeah, and they. Go- I don't hate labels, by the way. I think they're very necessary. That's listen. We ain't got that much time. We could talk about that another day. But listen, I think they're so. I think people. G- I feel like it's it's cool now to cuss labels, but really and truly, if we really get into it and unpack it, music uh, music's expensive in it, and bare mm. got bread. So. Mm. I need to relax. Mm. But um, that's, that's a conversation for another, another day. Another yeah, another day. day, another day, another day. When's your album coming out again? March 4th. Reason, March to, 4th. Smile. reason to smile. Reason to smile. Pre-order that. Reason to smile. Listen, thank you for coming on my show, Cody. Uh, this is, that was it? Yeah, man. I, that I, wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was calm, innit? I didn't really, we didn't even get to much of like how much of a slug you are and you know how you're just out here in these streets moving crazy. You reckon? I've heard. You've heard? I've heard reports. From who? We spoke about it. You didn't hear nothing. <laughs> <Do> you know <laughs> what? You didn't hear nothing. The reason why I tell you you didn't hear nothing <laughs> why? is because... Um, don't act like you're just a homebody. I just stay at home. I got a new yard. Blah, 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 I don't go. Really? So when you're on the streets, do you see me? I'm not on the streets, so I wouldn't see you. No, no, no. I'm not on the streets. When street, you're I'm on the streets, I'm not on the streets. Do you see me? I, I'm do I work the same shifts that you do <laughs> on the streets? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the, out here, bro. Listen, bro. You're I'm, out here. I'm at, trying to find love. You work between 9 and 6 a.m. On the streets? Yes. That's a brazy shift, yeah. Yeah, I know. And you got wheels. Let's not do you this, Relic. Have for unlimited Ubers. 
Who's got money for unlimited you. Ubers? You. Pick, okay. You got quality a car to come to your house That's for a Tiffany Carver's thing. Yeah, man. You got money. I treat my boys nice. Come on, my guy. You didn't even get me no Krispy Kremes. Bro, I t- I'm broke. Well, tell that to the girl, then. Let's, no, they, no, I'm, anyway. <laughs> coffee dates? Yeah, of course. Why did you go on coffee dates? Why <laughs> on coffee dates? Yeah. Because I like, I like, it's, it's nice, it's cute, it's intimate. It's intimate? Yeah, you, you go. You like intimacy? I love intimacy. You go, you get a coffee. <laughs> I say hi. Can I get um, caramel latte with an extra vanilla pump? Uh, my name is with Rick. an extra pump. Vanilla pump. Mm. Mm-hmm. My name is oh, Rick. vanilla. Vanilla pump. Hundred percent. And then you go. You sit down in the coffee shop, have a conversation, or go for a walk. Go to the park. Look at the squirrels. It's very nice. I'm a wholesome you. Looking at squirrels. I love squirrels. And the nuts. No, not the nuts. Nothing to do with nuts. Huh? I don't. Nothing to do with nuts. You don't like. You don't nut. What's nuts? What's that? What's that? Huh? Like cashews. Cash it where? <laughs> <laughs> like cashews. Cash I'm a wholesome you, bro. You know what wholesome. I'm I don't like I said. When you're in the streets, I don't see you because I'm not there. Yes, you do. I'm you don't home. see me because I'm not there. No, I don't. See you're me. outside. I'm really not. Okay. Pe- <laughs> Again, we we we've, we've we've spoken about projection a lot during this. I'm not projecting anything. And I just want. I feel like we should unpack what we've got. We got four. Minutes. Put in the comment section if you want to see a part two in which we really. We just, we get to the bottom of it. You're my therapist? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I should do an episode with my therapist. That'd be lit, actually. Can I be there? I don't really yeah. want to know what's... My what's therapist is, she's really cool. Yeah. Black woman. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's she's really dope. I really want to know what's happening here, really. Because I In just my feel life. like... I just feel like... You know? <sighs> my life, I'm... Listen, I'm... Life is good, man. Mm. I'm healthy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I beat COVID twice, mashallah. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm... Yes, I'm making a bit of money. Mm. Book for things. Mm. Like friends are good. You say you're making a little what? No, no bit of bread, not a lot. Uh, I'm still broke. I'm defo broke. Uh, I'm defo broke. Uh, but um, you know. I just don't get that vibe. My nigga, what do you I'm wearing Air Forces and a jumper. So was Simon Levy. A Gucci jacket. Bape, bathing ape shoes. Are these ones. Some guy's name Chinos who I don't know. Rick. What's that necklace? We gotta look at the socks. Man's got five, six yeah, chains on. Look at the socks. What the socks? A oh, Rick and Morty socks. Yeah. What hat is that? Um, and and and. I don't know who that is. I have not one piece of Cortez in my house. I've got Cortez socks. Whatever. Man. I did. Do you know what? You, do you know gifted. what I did? I, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I had to really. I sat there on the last drop and really? I typed in the password like everybody else. Mm. And I threw it, threw some stuff in the basket. Has it come yet? But I just um, I'm following. I hear that. I'm following. I hear that. But anyway, Koji, thank you for coming on the show. That's all right. Thank you for having me. Oh, before you go. go no, actually, no, no, no. That's not. I'm not gonna do go that. On. We've done it now. <laughs> How do you think you would fare in 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 a rap battle? Not as in battle rap, as in if someone dissed you on a song. Mm. How do you think you would fare? There's a reason why no one's dissed me. I like that. Mm. I like that. Do you know one of the first things I ever clocked about you? What? When I read, I like this guy. You was at Radar. I think it might have been a set. I didn't know you did sets. And then someone did the drop and you jumped on it straight away and they willed it immediately. And you're like, listen, I've never missed a drop in, in my, my life. life. My life. I said, I like this guy. <laughs> I really like this guy. That was so <laughs> cocky, but I loved it. Man. And ever since then, as if like, yeah, I messaged you, but Koji for real. Thanks for coming for me. I really right, appreciate it, man. Like, love Pleasure. You for Anytime. Buy his album, pre order his album, March 4th, March Reason 4th. to Smile. Standard. Pre order that, stream that, no all that, that good stuff. No and, um, follow us, all that good stuff.